welcome to a magical cocktail adventure where it's all about making cocktails at home and having fun. I am Helen and as you can see today we are on location at our wonderful friends Marie and Greg's beautiful home called Serenity on the Gold Coast and you can see Marie and Greg and Marty in the background there playing it up, being mysterious around the fire pit and we are so going to enjoy this glorious cocktail this afternoon around that fire pit and it is called a hot berry totty. I have made this cocktail before and I know it is absolutely delicious and I did find it in a recipe book, book, not book, book called Delicious More Please. So I'm so happy I found this cocktail because it is delish. It is so simple though. We have three ingredients. We have a glorious raspberry liqueur and this liqueur is from the Castle Glen Distillery. Their products are outstanding and these guys are up in Stanthorpe. It's worth checking them out. And then we have a glorious one cup of, I have frozen berries here just a mixed berries and you can use if you want fresh berries and then the last ingredient is a beautiful brandy you can use any brandy you like i had in the cupboard a scent remy so that's what we're using today so simple it's a little bit sad today we're not doing shake it up buttercup but we will do a little bit of a stir it up buttercup Oh, I thought Marie might do a bit of stirring in the background there. <laughs> oh, she is stirring. There we go. I know her so well. So first of all, what goes into this saucepan first is our one cup of berries. Now I have uh, measured that out, so I do know it's a cup. And then the brandy goes into the saucepan. And for the brandy, you want 60 ml which is two ounces. So a nice big slug of brandy goes into this saucepan, like so. Get every last drop of that brandy into that saucepan. There we go. <laughs> then we place it onto a very low heat, onto your little hot plate there, and stir this. So we're gonna stir this for two to three minutes. Let all those flavours infuse into the brandy, vice versa. Do I have to entertain you for two or three minutes? <laughs> I'm sure. What are you doing? <laughs> Marty's come up to check out our stirring. So let's stir it up by the cup. All right, so that is looking fantastic. We're getting some heat coming out of our saucepan now. It's been on that low heat for three minutes. I took it up to I took it up to a bit of up to about four minutes. I've done it actually, and it is oh <laughs> smelling absolutely delicious. Now our next step is simply we're going to add in our lovely raspberry liqueur and. For this, we need 30 ml, which is one ounce. So let's just measure out our 30 ml of our raspberry and place that into our saucepan like so. Give it one very quick stir and then we take it off the heat. And I'll just place the lid back on and get rid of our raspberry liqueur. And what I'm gonna do with this now you can, you can strain this straight from the saucepan into your glass, but I'm going to use this really, really beautiful teacup and I'm going to strain it into the teacup so it's nicer to pour out with our friends around us. And I have a little strainer here and we're just going to see how it goes as we strain that in. Look at the colour. Wow. I, I can't tell you, it smells so absolutely divine. We can smell it from here. Oh, what, Marty? We can smell it from here. Excellent. I'm sure you're actually salivating wanting some of this. So then you can just strain that in. You're, you, you can sort of push it down, get all that yumminess out through the strain. 
voila there we have it there's our strain put our lid on now for the exciting part we're going to pour our hot berry toddy now you can use a wonderful brandy balloon glass totally okay you can use any glass really but it looks really cool in a brandy glass but we're going to use something a little bit different today and we're going to use this absolutely glorious little teacup and saucer let's just pour in our beautiful hot berry toddy look at the, that absolutely glorious pour i find myself so myself and our garnish today simply of course how could we have a hot berry toddy without roasted marshmallows so I have two roasted marshmallows on a fabulous little stick here I'm going to place that on the top like that and you can see I've got a beautiful colored autumn leaf there on the base and we're going to place one more marshmallow and a couple of fresh blueberries just go there and voila there we have our hot berry toddy and Marie's going to run on in and we are going to give it a taste test oh yeah as you know the favorite part of the show for me is the taste test but I'll let Marie go first oh, oh really yeah, yeah, yeah. go oh, on go on go on oh my god <laughs> mm. Mm. I know she's gonna love this one. Oh my oh <laughs> you gotta have one <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Oh, it's sublime. <laughs> it's truly sublime. Look, she wants more. <laughs> Marie wants well, more. Well, lost it. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> take it away, Marie. No, she can't take it away yet. <laughs> Thanks, my darling friend. Oh, That's fun. it from me. If you've enjoyed today's show, please give us a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> You're welcome to subscribe and even share with your friends a big hello today goes out to Joseph from France who's a new use YouTube subscriber thank you so much for watching Joseph that's it from me I am Helen this is Marie and we're both the cocktail queens well I'm the cocktail queen of I Mount Amory <laughs> and Marie drinks them thank you so much for watching Mwah! cheers Mm, I'm having a go. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Take it away, Marie. Thank you. Bye. Belonged to Mar they belonged to Marie's. <coughs> they belonged to Mar <laughs> your auntie. Uh, your aunt? I can't just say your my nanas. Oh, my nanas. Yeah. Look. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm not a camel. You shush, you woman. You'll get your drink soon.